Wow, it gets even more therapeutic than this. Lady Hope Wellness Institute has taken a serious initiative upon itself to ensure that most of the members attend counseling sessions. This was inspired by the fact that most of the members and patients in Lady Hope will be in denial with low self-esteem, feeling rejected, unproductive, and quite low spiritually. And this will in turn affect their social being and life in general. A good example, as we can see, is Norbert Kamau. His story goes without saying much. The impact of counseling to his life is explicitly explained in his smile. I am Norbert Kamau. I am from the area of Banana. I am from the area of Banana. I am from the area of Banana. But this year, I am from the area of Banana. I am from the area of Banana. Can introduce kwa Madam Veronica, and you hold the charm and it already hope. Sakuna Villa to the young girl, communication. I can introduce us and the Kujauku, like me before the Kujauku Sasan in Kuana stress. Ileo Gonzo, like me as after Kuni for Tilia Sana, the Asan in Kuja, I can introduce us a father, Father John. So Father John Sasa, Madam Veronica, and the young girl, Sakuna Villa. Bona taka kansole, lakini mikuwa chini sana. Hatha isata nyumbani, sasa mikuwa nime shift mbaka nyumbani. Hile kutoroka nyumbani, mikuwa mgonzo. Kishagi. Mm, kishagi, sasa nikaenda kukomboa maali, sasa. Nikuwa almost two months, lakini mikuwa chini. By the time mikuwa nikienda kukomboa, mikuwa tani miamua commit suicide. Hile asa unangalia environment ni umekaa. Nona ni kama ume rejectua na wazazi, your sister, nona. Then it was chini sana. Hatha isata venya nilikuja, nikabukua na Madam Veronica counseling. Hatha hata Father John counseling ya kwanza, hatu kuongea. Lakini ya liniongelesha, lakini misi ngeweza kumongelesha. Kwa za likuwa nda kujua what is happening, lakini ile kuji express, it was so painful. Kulingana vile ni miandago, lakini zangu sasa na unasa kila mtu wa menchukia. Alafu sasa hile shida yangu ilikuwa ni kwa miguwe, sasa nikienda kwa clinic hospital, hile asa inaspoil, inarejectiwa kwa matatu, inapigia myself, sasa unakorona, give up na life. Sasa hile take time, lakini hali ni handle, na by the time nimekuja asa, by the way, ya tano hili, ya tano nilikuwa nimepik, sasa tulikuwa tunaongea kama my brother hili, hata nilikuwa na smile, hatha ismeleni kuna hile asa, nilikuwa naenda tukuji express, Sikia hata sifai hata ya kumambia hata sidi tunaungelelea nini. Hatha isa hii asa kuna vila asa. Mepika. Mepika. Heza ungelelea mtu. Nikiona mtu wa kochini kuna vila. Mimu council. Na mwa approach na mleta karibu. Nona. Listu mtu anayinuka. Hatha isa. Sayi hata nimekua mwalini. John kuna vila asa nilikuwa na uoga hata kwa hii chama ready hope. Kuna vile asa nilikuwa na kuja kwa redi huu, kuna kaa kwa kitu pale, nilisai kwa mbele ya watu, na ugopa ya na kuliko na hile stigma. So upata confidence? Upata confidence. Kuna vile hata nilikuwa na naongea na mada uveronika na wambia. Kama huko leo miskuzi. Hala isa hii sasa. Miu kuja tu asa nikuwa na courage. Na wameet. Mimit wengi asa nikajua. Nikajua mashida zao simi ya peke yangu. Nikajua hata... Aijalishi hata kama kuna kansa mani ni kila mtu hui ni maisha na zimo kuwa na shida. As long as sasa it was responsibility kujua vila to handle, kafai kugive up. There have been several patients enrolled in the counseling program. 
but not as many as Madame Veronica, the director of Lady Hope, would have preferred. This is due to inadequate funds, especially the counseling program fees, which is usually under budget, as there are many other medical bills to be catered for. My name is Veronica Mwangi, in charge of Lady Hope Group. I'm grateful to our supporters, Catholic International Community, for their support in the counseling sessions. This time we've had five patients undergoing the sessions. Uh, four of them have finished, but one along the way, she's been bedridden, but we are hoping that soon she'll be back. In the other four, I've seen a lot of development. They were too low when they started, but for now, they are confident and they know that there is life after cancer. And we are hoping that soon we'll be able to, to start some projects that they can do in their, at the family level and that they'll be able to start on their own. In the group, we have many more patients that are in a lot of pain, psychological pain, and we hope that even other supporters will come up and that we'll be able to put them through counseling because we've seen even in the last group, those who benefited, the five in the last group, they are still there and they are doing well and they've been able to start on their feet. So we hope that we can have another group soon undergoing counseling, depending with finances. So we call upon supporters to come to our aid so that we are able to put together <coughs> another group for the counseling. Thank you to all those who've supported us. The cancer journey is a painful one and every little step counts. So don't shy away from supporting the they hope is doing their best to incorporate the cancer patients back to the society. Thank you and God bless. Namunyok Counseling Services has put effort in regaining the psychological stature of the patients who enroll in the counseling program. My name is Father John Mauricio and uh, I work with Namunyok Counseling Consultancy. And this is the group that uh, we have worked with for about two months now for 10 sessions and uh, I've seen growth in them for that period of time. Sometimes they were hopeless when they came but right now they're hopeful. All of them are ready to go out and be witnesses uh, and spread the good news that uh, they have received. <clears throat> Counseling is about hope, <coughs> mental hope as we call it. Uh, so that's part that we were dealing with, the mental kind of state and uh, creating hope that there's value in life and there's also value uh, in them contributing to the society and we have achieved that. There is also what I call material <coughs> hope and uh, that's also a need. Uh, if you do well mentally and then also materially you'll do well. That's a challenge that we have because we have prepared them to do something, but what is that something that uh, they are going to do depends uh, on a kind of an assistance, just as the way they have been assisted with counseling uh, and all that process. So uh, they have they have the skills to do something. Um, I'm sure they are, each one of them has uh, a kind of a hope of doing something. What that thing is depends on each one of them and also the support that they are going uh, to receive from well wishes, as we, we call it. Um, each one of them is uh, unique individually as they, they came. Um, as I said, some had, did not have hope in life, but right now I'm happy that they are ready uh, to go out and do what they are required to do as human beings. Uh, this, they have to see themselves and they are seeing themselves as human beings and not sick people. I think that's key, that they see themselves as human, be human beings who contribute to the society and to them also. So my time with them has been a, a progress and a time of development, a time of growth, and a time of hope that this life 
uh, at the end of the tunnel as we see. The patients have expressed how much they have gained from the counseling program and how much inspiring they have become in the society, shedding more light of encouragement and hope to the other patients in the group and even in the larger community. <laughs> na ndina kuwa na counseling miezi miwili mm -hmm. na ninafurahia kwa sababu nilikuwa nimefika kama ni mwisho wa kuishi dunia kwa vile niliona ati huwezi kuenda kwa watu useme hivi hivi yeah, yeah. wakati nilienda counseling nikaona nikasikia nikafunzwa nikaonyeshwa hata ukuwa na shida unaongea na watu mm -hmm. unaenda unakaa na wengine na huwezi na unawaambia shida zako huwezi ku lose hope nikasikia hivyo na nikafurahia sana tena ikanifunza vile nitaweza kukua nikikuwa na shin, na, na, na stress ninaomba hiyo kitu inaniishia sasa kaso linanisaidia sana nimekuwa mwalimu hata wa wengine nikaona ati hii kaso imetusaidia sana huwezi kufinyika sana kwa roho yako kwa vile mtu ukisikia ni mgojwa unafikiri kifo tu kaso lingituonyesha ati uwojwa sio kifo tunaonyeshwa ati ni kitu tu ya kupita na ukiogea na watu ina inaisha sasa nilifurahia kaso ling sana ni mimi nina hata nikaona nitaweza kukua hata mwalimu wa wengine nikafurahia sana kaso ling imenisaidia mambo mengi sana kwa vile nilikuwa nikipata shinda ninakaa nyumbani ninasema nikiambia mtu shida yangu si atajua na hakunisaidia ninanyamasa hiyo shida inanikulia ndani sasa kaso ling kanifusa mwambie tu alafu Mungu apitie kila paha pali nikafurahia sana hiyo nitawa iliingia kwa mwili yangu ya kaso ling imenisaidia sana na nikasema Mungu abariki watu wajue kaso kwa sababu ni dawa ya kila mtu huwezi kuchukua kaba ukanyijoge huwezi kukunywa dawa unasikia maisha ni sawa kama una umepewa kaso kwa hivyo ninafurahia kaso ling kwa kila mtu na fadha wetu ametusaidia sana na dada Feroni kamuku amusaidie vile alituonyesha kaso ni hatukujua ndio okay, nashukuru kwa muda huu ndio ndio naenda kusema tangu tumeanza hii ni miezi mbili sasa na hii kaso ni kukuli nimsaidia sana sana sababu nilikuwa yenyewe unapokuwa unakuwa na yale mawazo sana ukiwa unawaza juu ya haya magonjwa lakini wakati nimekuja kwa hiyo kaza lini, nimefurahia, nimeinua sana, nimeeleza jinsi ninaweza kukaa na vile ninaweza kufanya. Nisikae na mawazo sana. Niwe nina ninajiweka nguvu. Sasa mimi nimeshukuru sana kwa hiyo. Na kwa lingine ambalo ningependa kusema ni kwamba kwa hiyo kaza lini vile nimeendelea ku Nime, nimeendelea kuifanya niko pia na watoto pale nyumbani ambao hapa pia ni kusaidia hata kama ningepata pia msaada maana kwa roho yangu nasikia kujifunua kitu kama mashini ya kushona sweta maana nimejifunza hapa pia ya kushona sweta sasa nikipata mtu ambaye anaweza nisaidia akaniambia ndio hii nitaenda nikae pale nafikisha watoto wangu hawa wakipata unga na pia kwa pia school fees na hapo naona sita utaji mambo mengine mengi sitasumbua mtu nitakaa nikiwa sawa sawa kwa hiyo nashukuru kikundi hiki cha Red Hope nashukuru pia madam wetu Veronica hapa mko msaidie sana nashukuru pia huyu wa kanzo la father kwa kuchukua muda wako mwingi kukuja kutusaidia Mungu akubariki sana na pia uendelee kuwasaidia pia na wale wengine ni hayo tu ningependa kusema asante asante it's in the cry of Lady Hope Wellness Institute that more patients will be enrolled in this counseling program. The lack of sufficient funds has been a puzzle for the institution. <laughs>